Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a GEDCOM file from a Roots Magic tree. I have Roots Magic open here. I don't have any trees open, however. So I'm going to go File, Open Recent, because I happen to know where my latest mag um, copy of the Roots Magic tree is. There's my Sheldon Gold from the 23rd of August. Now I'm going to go File, New. I'm going to create a brand new file and I'm going to call it Jasper. I'm going to accept all of the defaults. Click OK. Now I have two trees side by side. You'll notice if I click over here on the left hand side, anywhere, anywhere that I click, uh, this blue bar up here becomes bluer. And when I click over here, the right hand side becomes bluer anywhere that I click. So make sure that you are on the right tree. Left click here, left click here. So now I'm going to take Jasper. I'm going to hold down my left click key and I'm going to drag him over and drop him right there where it says click to add a person. Drop and it says, do you want just Jasper Whitlock Sheldon? And I say, no, no, no. I want descendants and their spouses. So I click on descendants and their spouses. It comes up automatically for 10 generations, and that's great. I don't want fewer than 10, and I think 10 is going to be adequate. So I click OK. It works its magic suddenly telling me that it has created a brand new tree with 88 people in it. Sure enough, I look over here and if I did the descendants of Jasper for seven generations, I could see that everybody is there that I want. Now I'm going to close out of my SFA tree, leave this one open, and do a file, export it automatically says it's going to export to a GEDCOM. And I'm going to default it to everyone. Leave all of these things at the default level. Hit OK. Now I just have to get it in a name. Jasper Sheldon GEDCOM. Whoops, spell it right. Now I'm going to hit Save. And it never tells me when it's finished, but it's finished close out of this, send it to Sue, and I'll take it from there. Thank you.